Welcome, welcome everyone. Well, today is March 20th, 2015, and we've got some potent super new moon eclipse. Everything's in Pisces kind of power thing going on in these next 24 hours, and then it goes into Aries. Uh, but, uh, and then we've got the spring solstice with us. And so I'm going to do a reading to see what's going on because I just dropped a month end reading and I was working with the fairy oracle with uh, Lucy Cavendish there and um, the green man's door came through, you know, coming through saying this portal, a portal, galactic portals opening here, some entry points and, and here we are. And this was just, I think, a few days ago, so it was an alert. Because honestly, with this, you know, moving around, I haven't been watching videos. I mean, I've just been really trying to get things in order, my personal self. So, uh, again, uh, watch those astrologers. They, they, you know, they got the maps. They've got the maps. But I wanted to go with the Guild of Tarot again because I felt some good cards came out of there and then I wanted to work with the um, uh, let's see what, the wisdom of Avalon Oracle here we go I got the little book on the other side here so we got the wisdom of Oracle and then I've got the fairy ring going on here because um, uh, with this solstice opening up let me um, it's going to be in a, a what it's called, so I'm, I've got my phone in my hand, so I'm working with one uh, hand here, but it's the Fairy Festival, and it's named for Astara, for what's going on here um, in these next uh, few hours here, 21st, when the spring equinox hits. Um, but I, I, I'll just set that there as the highlight of the reading, okay? Okay. Uh, and this new moon is going to most definitely bring in some new beginnings for us. So uh, take charge of yourselves right now. And this is a creative new moon. Pisces uh, sign, last sign of the zodiac, you know, very intuitive. Uh, one of the most psychic, if not the. Uh, so it's just powerful. And Pisces, not only is it in the moon, it's obviously in the sun sign, and it's going in the Mercury and Chiron, and um, oh my lord, there was some oh, and its own uh, Neptune, its own ruling planet. So, uh, you know, it's just fascinating to me. But I did want to highlight what Ostara reads um, for a moment here. Okay, and if you see, um, there's a fairy mound in the background there, and there's a full moon highlighting it. Uh, but we've it's a, it's a lovely uh, card to read. The card the card shows a mysterious fairy island. Fairy islands appear and disappear in the twinkling of an eye, and may never be seen in the same place twice. Though a few lucky humans have been able to visit them. It, excuse me, it is the spring equinox, also called Ostara, when many fairies emerge from their winter hideaways. Some of them can be seen on the cards, such as the formidable Wood Woose, Wood Woose which is that, that man, uh, that uh, fairy male in the back, and the pretty winged fairy in the foreground. Early daffodils decorate the foreground and the divinatory meaning of this card. When the festival card of Ostara appears in a spread, it heralds dawning, creativity, emergence, an inpouring of energy and ideas, versatility, dexterity, idealism, and individuality. An idea or situation begins to crystallize and take form. Okay, well, we've been talking about it, and this, this, these energies, oops. okay, so these energies right now really are bringing in forward, you know, for us to really tap what's authentic to ourselves and our inner core, and, um, yeah, it's just wanting 
you know, the soul to say, this is what my soul needs to do and wants to do. Okay. All right. But let's see how the reading unfolds with some of these cards. And um, I'm just going to pick one of these at the end because they're a long read. But let's let's see what we can do. And let me put um, the fairy oracle over here because this is a long read too. So I think I'll just pick one of each of these and then we'll divide the reading with these. Okay. All right. So let's say we're going to do... Okay, we're going to do four, three, one, one to make the nine card spread I like. Okay, so bear with me because like I say, I'm, my uh, laptop is, uh, I'm going there today or tomorrow because I might just get a whole new laptop because it's the hard drive and all this stuff and it's two years old so I just... I don't know. Anyway, I'm still working with the one hand thing here, but that's okay. We're being creative, right, people? We're just going with the flow. <laughs> okay, let me keep the chatter slow here. And now, you know, do your breathing, think positive thoughts. These are potent energies. Uh, you know, most of the astrologers were saying, you know, this is like one of the heaviest. 24 hours in the whole 2015. So let's make it work, people. Okay. Loopy. I'll put it over, you, over here with Kwan Yin. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's say this is the first card. Set four of the Gilded Tarot. I'll set the cards to the side and make room for the new cards. And we'll go uh, three with the Wisdom of Avalon because with this fairy island opening galactic portal and the fairies were really bringing it forward, I want to work with this deck also. So, this is a powerful reading. So, let's make sure we bring our powerful thoughts for positivity and what is our dreams to come. You know, we can make this work, people. Okay, so we've got seven cards. Again, I'll set those cards to the side. Okay. All right, and let's see what we're gonna do. You know what? Let's let's turn these seven over first, and then we'll go with the uh, the fairy oracle and the um. Book fell down here. Um, the guide to the fairy ring, Anna Franklin. Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me put the books over here now. Okay, so let's see. This was the fourth card, so let me just set that down for this moment. Okay, this was the first card. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Isn't that lovely? Well, I smile because, you know, that divinatory system I work with, uh, my birth date, uh, March 11th, Pisces in the house, uh, I... I'm a queen of diamonds, and the, it's, it works around, you know, a deck of cards. But, uh, yeah, so queen of diamonds, queen of pentacles. So, and this is a wonderful card. Um, you know, she's earned her rights to be where she's at, and she's fair-minded, and she's generous, and she's, you know, it's just a, she's a lovely queen, really. And, you know, she works to try to... Um, 
keep her kingdom, you know, an economic well-being. And you can see she's got the peacock there, you know, it's a sign of goddess energy also. So it's really nice. And I'm not trying to make this like a personal reading, but I mean, the first card out of the deck. And I've been, this this reading I know is important read. So, you know, I, I pray and I ask, the guidance to come through for everyone so it's just to show that wow wow look at this my friends the the, the, the little elves are working for us hard <laughs> see they want us to have economic well-being ten of pentacles i mean that's like the family is doing wonderful it's all happy you have resources you know, it's not always about money, but you have you have happiness, health, you know, wealth. Um, you have abundance. You have you know, family. All you know, you got the little bun. Is that a little mouse? Little bunny? You no, know, it's a little mousey. You got the little mousey there. You know, scrutinizing it all because that's what mice like to do. You know, but he's smiling, all happy. Everybody happy. Got a sun sign there in the box. That's genuinely beautiful. What can I say? The two cards that just came through here are super duper for us. We've got the, you know, the, the female principal energy saying, you know, we want abundance for you. We want this for you. And, uh, you know, Venus is in the house. Okay, so now this is a good card to come through because I honestly, honestly, this is, I was just um, saying uh, to some people too on th that, you know, I'm going to start taking the rest a little bit, you know, in the respect of just, you know, I'm finally mentally can settle in in this location. I'm not have to concern if I have to move in in a year from here, from now, you know, so it's all good in that respect. So I think that's the importance right now is uh, for me to, uh, and for all of us, you know, to really go introspection, okay, you know, again, <laughs> The chatter the mind. This is perfect card because this is how dreams grow when you're resting and you're in your solitude. And you know, solitude is sometimes only bearable with God. So, you know, you go in and you talk to your higher power, whatever source you follow, which is positive and all good. But this rest, I think that's like really, this, this is totally for all of us, every single person person watching this video we need to go into that okay try to tap that unknown zone that's that's the card this is the card that the four of swords and go into mental clarity because we know the swords is about you know your mind your thoughts and and it's well-being okay it's well-being so this is how we we heal when we go into the regenerative mode okay and then we have temperance. Oh, just such a beautiful, beautiful card. And this is about patience. Patience, 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 you know. And, uh, you know, some of us, like I said, some things might take 10 days, 10 weeks. Maybe you've been waiting for 10 years. and But it's all about patience. No matter what the chronological time has been for whatever endeavors you've been waiting on or going for, uh... You know, sometimes patience is, a, well, patience is a virtue. It totally is because you're, you're working with the higher powers, giving faith that you will wait for the right timing when the universe says it is now. Okay, now is the right time. So I love it. I do like the colors of this deck. Aren't they kind of like jump at you lovely? Really, all of them are just pretty cool. Okay, so now we're going to go to the Wisdom of Avalon. Whoopee. And let's see what Miss Colette has to say today in her deck. Protection. Well, that's a wonderful, wonderful card to have. And what number is that? That's 38. 38. Okay, and 38 is 11. And 1 and 1 is 2. Well, you know, there's balance all about this card, no matter what, how we look at it. Protection. And here you see, you know, it's a, it's a walkway into the woods. And, you know, in the woods, you never know what's in there, right? So, uh, uh, 
you know, to know that you're protected and guarded and, 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 and that, you know, take a chance. You know, for me, this this kind of card, because this this Pisces new moon, super moon eclipse with the, you know, spring equinox involved and, oh, we can, we can keep dancing to whatever overwhelmingly wonderful is going on right now. It, it really means that, you know, they want this for us too. They want us to have, you know, the abundance. They want us to regenerate. They're protecting us uh, because, you know, there's things to come and we need to really have mental clarity and strength, uh, you know, for whatever endeavors we are willing to do. And you've heard, you know, it, 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 there's no free ride, people. And, and if it is, usually, you know, the people like that get derailed. Uh, what a wonderful card just came through here. This powerful card right here. Um, what I'm trying to say is, you know, it's best for you to do it on your own, okay? Don't rely on family money, inheritance, or don't rely on, don't even rely on the government. You know what I mean, people? Just take care of you and and make something for you that nobody can take away from. And I don't mean just what's in your bank account. I mean from your heart and soul, who you are, what you are. Okay, the owl. Let's see if it focuses, and if not, I gotta just look around the corner. Deception and wisdom, yes. Okay, so um, this is a fascinating card, and actually, I'm gonna read what she has to say right now because, uh, you know, totally, 2015 is a little bit about this energy too. I, I kind of can say that openly now since this card came out. But let's read this card right now, while it's come through and it's. You know, it's on my mind. And as you can see, it's also uh, card number 13. Uh, look at that. I just opened it up to the owl. So there is a, a, a message here. And um, let's see. When did this? I wrote it down here. 2008. Okay. So um, the owl... The owl lends you eyes that you need in order to see in the dark around you. The owl can cut through the shadows to illuminate the real truth. Someone may be trying to camouflage his or her real intentions. Deceit, lies, and unclear intentions are exposed with owl energy. The owl also reminds you to be honest with yourself and snap out of any lies or denial inside you. Lying to yourself is the way that you'll remain lost in a prison of your own making. The owl appears to ask you to seek the truth in the darkest places within yourself. This will set you free and restore you to wholeness. All is well with the owl to guide you. Deep wisdom into human nature is gained through the ability to recognize untruths. Owl is an important and powerful ally. Well, there you go and that's what I mean it's like we we need allies like that because there's sometimes betrayal uh, and we have to be aware because you know one thing and again I, I I'm not trying to talk about dark things all the time people but I really feel there's energies coming well they're here uh, and we just you know every day skip a beat you know smile laugh but uh, we can't let people uh, you know, treat us wrong, and there's deception out there, so just be aware or beware, that's that's the phrase I'll always keep saying, be aware or beware, but this card came out for a reason, and, um, you know, there's transformation in this card, so, you know, we, we just gotta be, you know, trust me, in my 20s, I was a poly, a Pollyanna, okay, a Pollyanna, and, uh, no, <laughs> not, Okay, so let's see. Oh, my dragon is here. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends. I'm just, I'm choked up again when I see him because I was just, because I'm trying to set up a nice shelving thing, but I'm painting a wall. Anyway, I haven't set up my deck decks permanently yet. I mean, they're in their location, but I was saying that I was almost going to bring out a dragon deck while I was bringing, bringing, bringing this up because I said, I'm almost going to bring out a dragon deck. And I said, no, no, no. 
let's just wait for a nice dragon reading. And not, you know, because I, it had so much power, what we're going through these next 24 hours is so powerful. I was like, let's bring the dragons in, but but they came through anyway is the point with strength and power and we're protected by the dragons and nobody can deceive us. See what I'm saying, people? We're protected. We're protected by owl wisdom, okay? Owl wisdom. And, and totem animal, uh, Google the snowy white. That's all about magic, too. Okay, so no doubt. We've got some powerful allies with us. So nobody's going to be uh, messing with us, I don't think. So if we follow the right codes. And um, let's see, what number is Dragon 24? Okay, let's read about the dragon since I'm excited because literally... I was going to bring the dragon, uh, one dragon out, you know, I was going to bring out the uh, one fairy oracle, one dragon, but then I kind of said, well, let's go with um, Miss Colette here for the wisdom of Avalon, because they've got everything in there, and the dragon came. Oh, and look at this. This one was dated 5-11-2008. Okay, dragon. Let's put, hold on, let's, let's stand the dragon up. And we'll put them by the fire. There we go. That's how we do it. Okay. The dragon comes to offer you its power and strength to protect and fortify you on this leg of your journey. The dragon symbolizes true power and reminds you that this infinite source is not found within your personality or ego. Let's see. Let's read this again. The dragon symbolizes true power and reminds you that this infinite source is not found within your personality or ego. True power resides deep within your soul. And, and this new moon in Pisces is all about your soul. That's why you want to dream big. That's why you want to be authentic. It's all about your soul. So call on the dragon's spiritual power and strength and you will find a vast resource to strengthen your resolve through morality, integrity, and purpose. If you're struggling with these issues, the dragon will restore them to you. Remember that the power of the spiritual world can never be broken and true strength is found within, not in the outside world. Never mistake a gentle man for a weak one. Watch for a signal. The dragon always makes the next step clear, and it gives you the power to take it. <laughs> you gotta love the dragons. Oh, my God, I love them so much. Okay, we'll have to make a very special reading just for you, dragon, and we'll bring you through. And this is a red dragon, too, so it's uh, he, he's got a powerful voice or or fire load there. Okay, so let's go and pick one more. I'm already at 23 minutes. I'm hoping this camera doesn't turn me off. Hopefully it's, uh, I have, I don't know what time I have, but so far I've been uploading three videos. They only cut me off once. So let's say that this will be good. Oh, hold on. This one kind of made a little noise. Oh, there's two. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Okay, I gotta pull them over, people. Hold on. Oh, the little boy blue is here. Little boy blue, very cute car. Dreams come true. Return of the soul. Get out and the beauty and the peace. Unconditional love. Oh, my, 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 my. Isn't this the cutest thing? Boy, the fairies are on top of it. No doubt. No doubt. You know what? Let me let we go, we got to turn the page here, but I'm just going to pick the final one from uh how beautiful. I mean, this is the whole this is what it's about, people. Every day of your life it's about unconditional love. And yes, you know, there's beasts out there. We got to watch protect ourselves. Dragon knows all about it. Protect our spirits and souls cuz Yes, there's people who do do us harm, even physically and emotionally, but even in the spirit world, they're here, you know? And there's angels here to bring us the love and the shine 
And then there's the other forces that don't. So that's why we got to be aware. But we bring our own. We make it all for ourselves. Ah, little boy blue. I just have to turn the three cards and make this a three three final card read for the this wonderful, you know, just auspicious time. Uh, and the cards are coming through. So I'm going to take this top card. Ah, the banshees are here. Okay, we'll see. The owl knew. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. But let's first read about, um, okay, this is from, where did I put the little, oh, here. Oh, here it is, okay. No, this is from the Fairy Oracle. I'm sorry, I'm a little excited. This reading has really got, like, I'm feeling it, okay? I'm feeling it. Okay, and we have Beauty and the Beach, which is 31. Uh, uh, Beauty and the Beach. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Uh, there's a little... Uh, once a year, we have a little gathering on our beach, and it's called Beauty in the Beach. <laughs> and they, it's in the summer where they have little, you know, bikini and music and food. It's kind of cute. Okay, hold on a second. I'm here. We go. Okay, Beauty and the Beast. Okay, unconditional love. This beautiful fairy is with those she loves. And I'm just gonna go to the divinatory meeting. Consider that you see with everyone you encounter, indeed, every being you encounter, a spirit being, someone who has the spark of soul life within them. Consider then that what your soul spark acknowledges theirs, you feel connected to divine love, which sees not species, race, creed, or distinguishing features. It enables you then to work and be with people who you may have once found difficult to be around. Unconditional love allows you to experience your own capacity for love, which is joyous and fills you with happiness. To dismiss, to be in retreat from others because of differences or cultural beliefs and stereotypes is to dim your own internal source of light and reduce opportunities for friendship and love. So, you know, people, pretty much that's like, you know, we got to give the love, right? I mean, we got to make just love simply, you know, and but, you know, if people you know, come after you, then that's, we have to fight. But to be just in your heart, have hate and and do things to people, I, I don't understand that. Okay, anyway, unconditional love, that's, that's the theme of the spiritual life, pretty much. Okay, and let's see, little boy blue, dreams come true. And this is what this new moon's totally about, this little boy blue uh, personality here because this is what we're going we're going for that creative the authentic being ourselves dreams come true return of the soul and I'll just go straight to the divinatory meaning lighten up and feel joy for your hopes are going to be given form feeling and spirit exclamation mark new projects are coming into the world the discovery of a gift Babies, children, innocence, and laughter, letting go of old concepts and ideas that no longer serve, approaching life with the open heart of the child. This is a card representing someone who is at home with their sensitivity and their psychic abilities, and who is able to help the world simply through being themselves, who they are at their core, and using their beautiful, innate, intuitive talents. Well, that, I would say, if any of these wonderful cards that came through, and they're all pretty fly, and the Banshee, uh, she's one of those that, are, that pin, can pinch you hard, but we're going to get wisdom out of her right now. But the Little Boy Blue is definitely, I'd say, the lead ringer here for this reading. Okay, now from the Banshee, the Banshee is like, um, that's what they are. They, they're they just, uh, let's see, you know, they're kind of like, they're not, they're not evil, but they're just, you know, they're just kind of like a pain in the booty. And there, this is the autumn, uh, in this card deck, it's, um, set up as seasons. And of course, all the fairy festivals and stuff, but, uh, so this is the autumn season. So if you can put yourself into that, uh, scenario. And she is number four of the autumn court. Okay. All right. So 
we have Banshee. Banshee. And the, just to give you a little highlight on the Banshee, the card shows two Banshees, strange white-faced women with red eyes. They stand on the bare ba branches of trees under the eerie light of a full moon. And I'll go to the divinatory meaning. The Banshee brings you bad news or a warning of disaster. She is telling you that others are working behind the scenes to do you a disservice. Beware of evil gossip about you and treachery by disloyal friends and loved ones. Well, my, 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 we have to put this into consideration, my dears, because it seems like a lot of uh, protection cards have come through. Okay, so make sure that you are guarded and make sure that you just put that white light, bright light all around me and within me protects me both day and night. And the white light, the bright light all around me and within me, I banish all bane. Okay? And so let let these kind of creatures do what they got to do. Okay? And, you know, for you kind of follow me, you know, that's, that's why I have my boy. Okay? Because they exist, these energies. But we can, we can calm them down. Okay? But you got to be in this frames of mind to do it. But pay attention to that when you are in these frames of mind, this is what's lurking around the corner because this doesn't understand love, okay? It, and unless we heal it with love. And that's pretty much how it works. Okay, well, overall, this has been really powerful because it just shows the balance of the life.